Hello, I'm back. It has been a while, hasn't it? I think my last daily live was around the 14th of May. Uh, so it is nice to be back. I had intended to be back sooner. Now, look, if anyone is on the, particularly the Facebook stream, just actually making sure that you guys can hear me. Perhaps uh, if you want to put a comment or a thumbs up to know that you can hear me because I've got the microphone in a different place this time. But anyway, I am back. I, I expected to maybe pop in a couple of weeks after I finished the daily lives as our lives slowly kind of came out of lockdown. And as I kind of said early on, my lockdown had gone quite nicely. It uh, appealed to my introverted self. Uh, hi Jane. Um, it appealed to my introverted self and really it's quite simple for me. Also quite simple for me because, just give me a flashing of it there, also simple for me because my work was 90, 95% online already. But there was a little sting in the tail so I would like to thank all of you who have sent me such delightful messages and condolence to my dad's death. So that was the sting in the tail for me. We were coming out of lockdown. Uh, he could, ha he was back in the world again, which is delightful that he had that after a couple of months of being locked in. And he got sick very, very fast. Uh, his doctor had expected that even navigating all the bureaucracy to leave Australia to quarantine in New Zealand that I may have enough time but unfortunately that didn't happen and just an FYI for others out there Australians in particular um, this border business I always thought the border was about keeping people out and keeping the virus out but actually it's also about keeping us in so the biggest stumbling block for me other than ultimately I would not have had enough time to get there and out of quarantine in time was we have to not just ask home affairs in Australia if we can leave, we have to document and have some unknown documentation to be able to leave Australia. They will take at least 48 hours, maybe longer to decide, and they have turned down a lot of Kiwis in the situation that I was in, trying to get back while a family member was dying. I just want to let you know that I have taken time off. I had over a week off and I've been back at work. Uh, I am looking after myself and um, I know some of you jumped on the recording we had, uh, I, I did during the live series with uh, Dr. Edri Grant where we talked about grief. Unfortunately both Edri and I have had a lot of experience of grief and um, that's archived on the YouTube channel. If you can hear something in the background. It may be that the therapy cat knows I'm talking about sad stuff and wants to give me a bit of a cuddle. Uh, Mishka? No, he'll come up when he wants to. So when I say I've been taking care of myself, what do I mean by this? So I've been paying a lot of attention to getting to bed on time and uh, taking whatever I need to go to sleep. You know, lots of St John's Ward. Uh, <laughs> taking Nervine herbs during the day, come on, getting cuddles from cats, you want to come up, come here, no, just wants to, wants to complain. Uh, I've also been unusually mindful in this, so while my dad, uh, when my dad first went to hospital and was saying he was going to be okay or implying that he would get out of hospital and the doctors were too, something in me got a bit triggered and what's the first thing I did? I watched myself, the first three things I did was uh, my comfort was crisps, chips. So it wasn't alcohol, wasn't chocolate, but that did come in later in the week. It was a small portion control <laughs> chips. I didn't make my bed for the first time since lockdown began and I didn't do the dishes that night for the first time since lockdown began. And it was really interesting because I was seeing myself do this and I was trying to be really m mindful and non-censoring. I just was going, oh, that's interesting how I'm reacting. Oh, that's my go-to for comfort right now. And then later on, you know, over the next few days, as I kind of observed the various phases I was going through, I was then observing the fact that I was observing and being mindful. That, of course, doesn't make me jump cue for the stages of grief, but 
it has provided some weird comfort to know that it's going okay. I had an experience, uh, unfortunately, with, as when my, my brother was dying and he was only 33, that I um, managed to get all my flower essences and my flower essence repertory with me and I was in the hospice and he was unconscious and I was sitting there going through the repertory trying to find what I needed. And it's really come back to me now that I had this epiphany which was actually everything I'm feeling is normal. If I feel happy one day and sad the next, it's normal. If I'm having a day off grieving, that's normal. If I'm feeling sad, it's normal. So what I'm also doing in self-care, as I said, I took over a week off work. My diary is open again. Um, it's been a bit of shuffling around getting people uh, repositioned in the diary. Uh, I'm pacing myself, but I think the next available appointment for naturopathy as mentoring is probably next. There might be something still available on Friday, but it probably won't be until next Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, I'm taking my herbs, I'm having self-care, I'm observing myself, I'm being kind, I'm being gentle. The other being gentle, being kind is usually today uh, or tomorrow, my newsletter would wing its way into your mailbox, but it's not going to happen this month. I'm taking the month off. In fact, I often take June or July or August off if I'm travelling. I'm usually travelling with my dad at this time of year. Uh, and if it crosses too many weeks um, leading up to the newsletter, I, I'll, I take a month off. But it will be back. It will be back on the second Tuesday or Wednesday of July. Now, I will say in my kind of slightly grief brain addled haze. I had a little stuff up with the newsletter uh, mailing data. Um, I accidentally archived all a thousand and something or other of you. I think I've got everyone who is current and should be on the list back on but if for any reason doesn't arrive next month and you're on the mailing list just get in touch with me and I'll, I'll find you in the ar archives. Uh, so what else is happening? We're just coming up to winter solstice on the 21st of June for this hemisphere. Of course, that's the summer solstice in the north. For those, I haven't seen what the time is, but it may be okay because it should be sunrise. Um, did you know that I think it's the National Trust in the UK is um, live streaming solstice? So the, the summer solstice at Stonehenge, which where everything comes into alignment then. So Google that if you're a bit of a bit of a pagan like me. Uh, but for here, the winter solstice is about death. Uh, you know, it is that dark space before we can, we can come back and have a rebirth and come back into the light. I've grieved at all sorts of times of the years, but winter feels most appropriate because we do like to hagi and uh, huge and um, uh, nest and comfort down at home. It's not a time when I want to be with lots of people when I'm grieving. I really appreciate small catch-ups with one or two close friends. I can't do a lot more than that and I like to keep some bandwidth for work so I can be 100% with my clients when I am choosing to work. So thank you for turning up. It's really lovely to see some of you again. I hope the sun is shining where you are. And I'll pop in in a few weeks. I'll let you know how I'm going. But basically, I'm back. The newsletter isn't. The clinic is not open to the public yet. I'm still doing all my work online. That's mainly because most of my local clients are, are people who go through cancer treatment. And there is no need to po to increase their exposure to any potential bugs so this is working fine get in touch if i can be of help uh, if you missed um, many of the weeks of facebook lives and or would like to go back and look at them just go to youtube uh, and google uh, jill Stanner naturopath you'll fi find me there all there have a good day and i'll catch up with you again later so i'm going to say goodbye to Insta and thank you very much guys. See you soon.